Hey, what's up guys? It's Inca 4x4 and in this video we're going to go over the Cook Partner stove, the Ignite fire can. We're going to touch base on the Gazelle 10, what I got going on with the Gladiator and the JCR bumper. You guys could check out how this is coming along. But first of all, make sure to go over to my website, Inca4x4.com. We have the $120 Overland bags, $10 gets donated to Veterans Go Outdoors nonprofit. Uh, we went out to Winrock with Morimoto, uh, kept the four bangers. I'm going to do an update video for that. Um, we're going to do a thousand subscriber giveaway for the Overland bag. So it'll be on the YouTube channel. Just leave a comment. Um, and, uh, once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away, I'm going to announce a, a Overland bag giveaway. So, but it needs to be in this video. So I'm going to tag this video for all future videos and that way you'll know about it. And let's go over to the back. Um, again, we got the rooftop tents pre-ordered, um, thousand dollar pre-order gets you expected april delivery and we have two styles a wedge one with crossbars and we have the four person hard shell so both of them super high quality um yeah you're gonna get 820 dollars off if you pre-order and there's only a couple spots for that but this video is gonna be just me cooking on the partner stove, what I think about it compared to like what a regular uh, stove, this Ignite um, fire can and just kind of kind of my setup. But definitely go over to my website, Inca 4x4, to pick you up one of these bags um, and check me out on Instagram at Inca 4x4. Okay, so here, um, let's just get started. So I boiled some water here. Um, just to kind of clean this off, we went out to Windrock uh, not too long ago and it was just like really muddy. I just finally got it cleaned up, the Jeep. Um, so again, this video, let me set you down. This, this video is gonna be going over this partner steel stove and some of the other gear I have. But remember to enter this free Inca 4x4 tent giveaway, not tent, um, Overland bag giveaway. It's a um, thousand subscribers, a thousand subscribers, and we'll Give away a free Inca 4x4 bag, obviously a brand new one. Um, and all you got to do is just comment below to enter. Comment um, and subscribe. When we get to a thousand subscribers, I will pick someone. Um, we have the and this is this is like really nice material. It's it's if you've ever seen a trasheroo, this is like way heavier than that. Um, if you buy one, if you're just interested in purchasing one, ten dollars does go to Veterans Go Outdoors nonprofit. And I'm letting this air dry because I had let it air dry, but then I forgot to pack it up and it got wet again. Um, if you ever see those little gold zero things, don't buy one. There, I really don't like them. Uh, so let's get back to this. Um, that's the main thing. Plus the rooftop tents that I sell. So if you're looking for one, definitely check out uh, my website for one. But, um, I'll just start off by saying that I'm not a fan of the, the partner steel stove. Um, if you notice this thing's already like, it's hard to stay. Uh, it's a pricey item with, uh, um, the griddle and everything. It's a pricey item. You got to buy like a adapter, um, for it to work with, uh, with like the little propane tanks. Um, 
So I'm not a fan of them. I'll just show you this one I got here uh, for my Eureka one. Uh, I'm able to keep like a lot of stuff in there. It's smaller. Um, it's dirty right now because I haven't cleaned it in a while, but it's easier to clean. Um, this griddle is like a nightmare to clean. So I'm just going to boil some. Let's see, where can I set you where you would be able to see better? I think here might be might be the spot. I think so. I think this might be it. Um, hopefully the wind doesn't blow you away. So, yeah, so I'm not a fan. Um, just letting some of this clean off because like I said, I didn't clean it well the last time. And it's because it's like, it's kind of hard to clean. So it's just, when it's, something's hard, you know, you're, not, you're probably more likely not to do it, so. My wife, she's uh, trying to get her little girl to to uh, eat these little chicken thighs or chicken drumsticks. She's about to be eight months and um, she's getting her to try all sorts of different things. And so, that's kind of what we got going on. And um, I know people know that I have a child, but um, my wife's not a fan of posting about her. So that's kind of the reason why we don't really post. Like post her. But uh, anyway, back to the partner stove. So it is bulky, it's expensive. Some of the features like this wind guard just, you know, don't work. Um, and uh, so the cleanup's hard. Um, those are some things I don't like. Uh, today we're gonna cook some, the drumsticks that my wife wants to for our daughter to try and then some pork I don't even know what, what what piece of pork it is but it's just trying to get our daughter to try a little bit of everything so um, so yeah uh, you gotta buy the extra the extra little adapter for it to work um, And that's the end of this video. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah. And it's, I don't know if you could see, it's like, it's larger. This is a lot larger than that. And uh, when you, you know, if you ever packing up stuff, it's like, you'll see space is premium. So you really, um, the ones I do like are like the ones that are built into like a fridge slide and stuff. Those are, those are pretty dope. I don't have one of those, so I wouldn't have experience. Um, I feel like the pork needs to cook longer, so we'll do those first. Wow, this smells good. I feel like I feel like Marco from Overland X. So I'm gonna let those get started first. And then we did one of those like seasonings and just put them in bag for maybe like six hours. Um, while that's kind of doing one side, let's. Let me just walk you around some of the stuff. Um, so this here, I know in a couple of videos, I kind of been, um, hasn't either my propane tank was like out or, um, yeah, my, 
Oh, the last time I camped with these, so I don't know if it's just specific to this or like the lava box, the lava can or lava box, whatever, but um, because of the cold weather, like you see that pro like freezing up the propane thing. Um, when we were at Windrock, it was uh, probably like 34 degrees and I couldn't like, this thing was like shutting off, like the flame was kind of inconsistent. So I don't think that has anything to do with this. I think it's just like the way I mean, propane just works in general. Um, so I don't know if having a, f a five gallon tank would make a difference or what, but you see this is all like freezing over. Um, but I still really enjoy it because compared, I wouldn't buy a lava box or a lava can, whatever it's called. Um, compared to those, this uh, has stands. Um, the the little fitting is like a quick connect um if you want to close it up uh you can use this and just like connect it and close it and the 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 thing's made out of aluminum i think because it the heat dissipates really fast and it's like very small uh footprint um and then i'm gonna still give that some more time um the JCR swing out still missing. Um, they they never sent. There's like a piece that goes here, and I called and uh, probably had to call again. But uh, for this, in order to lock, I had just put this back on because honestly, I need it for it to stop swinging all the way out. But um, yeah, that's supposed to keep it like locked in a certain spot but i'd taken it off because if this like just gonna keep scraping here and, and messing up the powder coat but you can watch the video for that for the um, jcr bumper um either this shifted or something but um i have stood up on that i like that feature um they said they ran out of like the, the black handle stuff I could call back later but uh, this is from an M416 trailer I used to have um, it just matched up the bolts in the back uh, I don't know how I like about having fuel like right next to fire and stuff so um, I don't know if I'm that's permanent um, I still need to figure out the chase bar um, where how I can connect my chase bar and then uh, the solar solution that I want to go with is uh, there's a company called Rich Solar. They make um, not not the typical flexible ones. They make a it's a, a CICS. Um, if anyone's familiar with solar, it's like some different tech behind like um, the flexible ones because I hear the flexible ones just don't last that long. Um, but they're like pretty expensive. And then I'll just show you the, the gazelle tent. The thing I like about these tents, and right now I just have like it collapsed in. This is a T3 model. I had it, I have, I used to have four, but one fell off a roof and so now I'm down to three. But I do Airbnb trips where I take people out camping and this is what I use. I like that the floor comes out and you can clean it like that. Um, I mean, I've had it for, it's got to be like two years now. And I, I, you would say I use it professionally because I use it for campers. So, um, and it's held up really well. So here, let me turn, let me turn these. You see that? There's, there's a wind guard. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, so
Damn, that smells good. Um, so inside the, the go fast, um, again, like I was telling you guys last time, I had taped the corners off because they were sharp. Um, I added some more switches, like I got some lights up there inside the cab. Um, I have like an amber one, and then I have one that's like, um, at TJ Maxx, they're always selling these like little light bars with remotes that are 12 volts. So I bought that and wired it so I can turn it on here and then, um, use a little remote to change the like the color settings but honestly they're i guess you pay for what you get i mean it was only like 12 dollars um and on the one side the the white is it's like red white and green to make like all the colors or the variation of colors and the white on one side's not working so let me just show you what we got going on So this is pork, this is chicken. Um, I use like uh, sazon nazobo, which is like uh, Spanish seasoning. If you have any like Spanish friends, they probably have that at the house. Um, you saw the wind guard like didn't really uh, hold up. Um, so I need to figure out a chainsaw how to mount that better because it's pretty much just like dangling um i love my fridge i have the other the larger one but i think i may sell that and this because i really don't um i don't use the large one like i thought i would like it takes up too much space and uh the whole point of the go fast is to be able to like use the bed like in case you know it's raining you can cook in there or something um, the other thing I need is wheels, tires, because um, now they're kind of, they wore out better, but it was pretty bad. And these still have a good bit of tre like tre tread. The only thing that happened was that my, my shocks blew out in the front. And so when they blew out, it started riding, um, like bouncing a lot. And so it started eating away at the tires really bad. Um, and so... Yeah, I had to move the tires to the back. I had to get new shocks in the front. So I just got the ones with the reservoirs. Um, and yeah, you know, just stay on top of the maintenance. And now it's got like almost 73,000 miles. So we're just gonna keep pushing this uh, reliable 3.6 Pentastar. Um, I'll show you these. Originally, I was gonna um, get credit uh, for for um doing a, a thing with morimoto and uh they this company they sell like all sorts of lights like kc baja design everything but when i started like looking into the morimoto's a little bit more like the design and like the the, the technology behind the chip like the cooling and everything it's like it's actually they're really nice light pods and then not only that like um, John, um, with Morimoto and like the whole crew over there, Sean, um, Bear, Jonesy, like everyone over there, like I've worked with John in the past, um, or they've borrowed my truck. So it's, I feel like I'd rather support them, um, because you know, they support me and they're like really good people. So. Uh, definitely check out Morimoto um, for really like any light accessories. Um, some of the stuff I was like looking, I never really looked at their site like that. But when I started looking at the four bangers, these are called the four bangers. And you can use them for replacement for like um, fog lights. They have accessories. You can mount them as like, like I saw one dude had kind of like my Pro 6 across. And um, yeah, they're just really badass light so uh, i'll highly recommend those let me set you back down and see for instance that just like blew out so i'm gonna just cut cut this off 
Uh, so maybe that only works with like a five gallon tank or 20 pound tank. Um, but I have, I've gotten an adapter to, um, to make it work with like the little green ammo cans because I didn't um, want to carry around a big 20 pound tank. And I have a five, five pound tank, but I, I haven't filled it. I wonder how juicy this pork meat's gonna be. So, um, I guess this is a good like little touch base. Um, I don't want to make this video super long. Let's see where we're at right now. Um, oh, wow, we're at 20 minutes. So, yeah, no, I'm going to cut this here. There's no point of you watching me cook this entire thing. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory. These, I'll just go over the partner steel stove again. Um, I'll put all the information, like, probably right now, as far as the weight. This is a 22-inch version. There's both a right-handed and left-handed version. Um, you have to buy an adapter uh, for it to work with like with the propane tanks. So they sell you the, the cooking stove. Then they sell you the, the adapter, um, the griddle separate. Um, So that's that, but I would strongly recommend like a Eureka one, lighter. Um, it's just, I prefer that. And um, I gotta get another swing out for this. They make a swing out um, folding table and then they also make a ladder, which I, I kind of want to get because I feel like I can use it to climb up into the tent. Um, and then the only other thing I'll show you is, I think that's it. So here, let me, I haven't even, haven't really even seen you guys. So let's see if you can, we'll try to make sure you can see me. Well, so we'll end the video here. So again, thank you again for my subscribers. Uh, for joint for following the channel uh, make sure to go over to my website inca4x4.com for the overland bags the rooftop tent pre sale those tents before you know it summer's here uh, spring summer's here you want to you want to find one a lot of them are out of stock um, they're expensive uh, mine is a better price point so mine if you get the four person it comes with the annex room included um, it comes with the Overland bag and you're going to save $200 off the retail price. So um, if you want a quicker set up one, like a wedge style, and you don't have a large family, it's just going to be you and like maybe your girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, the wedge one is, 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 is awesome. And it comes with a uh, crossbars on top so you can mount like bikes, kayaks, that kind of stuff. Um, they're rated for 150 pounds each, so that's 300 pounds, the crossbars. Um, so, yeah, head over to my Instagram, check out the stuff I do. Um, I have dates available on ins on uh, Airbnb for the Overland Adventures. Um, two days in the North Georgia Mountains, one day off-roading, one day hiking. We visit some really cool locations. I take a lot of photos. It's just a super fun experience. Um, unless the weather is super extreme, you, I have so much gear, the awning, the, the zero degree bags, um, all the stuff. Uh, I've done it so many times, so um, it's really, 
uh, I got everything down to a science. So I appreciate you tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.